Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the number 9 and all the symbolism behind the number 9. Uh, then we're also going to be taking a look again at this date for World War III, March 31st, 2020. Call it World War III or the beginning of the events of Revelation. Uh, the Wormwood event uh, can be called many names. Um, we'll be looking at the number nine here, all the symbolism with the number nine. And then we're going to be taking a look at the I Pet Goat 2 video and uh, how the number nine uh, is coded into the I Pet Goat video. Uh, you can see here that the video itself is overlaid onto a field of stars. We're going to take a look at what star formation that this video is overlaid onto. And I believe that solves the uh, I Pet Goat um, mystery. Uh, first of all, though, we're going to take a look at this number nine. And uh, 9 is the number of completion. Uh, 9 is a sacred number. Uh, 9 is the number of heaven. Uh, in Hinduism, 9 is the number of the Brahma, or the Creator. Uh, the Pythagoreans called the number 9 the Anid. And the Anid were the 9 creation deities of ancient Egypt. Uh, also interesting, and we're going to be taking a look at this today as well. We're going to look at the Chinese Zodiac and the Chinese New Year uh, coming up here in a couple weeks. Uh, but the ninth day of the Chinese New Year is the birthday of the Jade Emperor. And the Jade Emperor rules all of heaven and earth. And we'll be looking at this Chinese Zodiac here. Currently we are in the year of the pig. The year of the pig goes to January 24th, and then on the 25th of January, we're going to go to the year of the rat, the metal rat, more specifically a gold rat, uh, but we're going to take a look at uh, the Chinese zodiac a little bit here. I'll remember in a past video I showed you guys that uh, the Chinese zodiac follows the planet Jupiter and uh, this year on the Chinese New Year which is January 25th uh, Jupiter will be located in the ninth zodiac uh, Sagittarius. Kind of interesting that it coincides with our uh, zodiac as well, the number nine, uh, with the Chinese uh, symbolism with the Jade Emperor and Jupiter being the king of the planets. We'll take a look at some more star stuff here and planet stuff with the uh, um, New Year here as well. Uh, since we're going to be talking about World War III, of course, uh, Mars is the symbolic god of war, uh, and Mars rules the number nine as well. And I've talked about this number here before, uh, the 3313, very important. Um, I don't have time to go into a big recap or review here, but the 3313 is from Revelation 811 and its surrounding verses, which encode the six and five pointed stars, Saturn and Venus, 3313, the 24th star number. We're going to be looking at that today as well. well a few of the derivatives of this 3313 number from Revelation, from the falling Wormwood star.
Um, here's some more 9 symbolism that I've seen here lately uh, with the uh, release of Episode 9, uh, the final uh, episode in the Star Wars saga. Uh, if we look at the release of the first Star Wars film, which was Episode 4, A New Hope, uh, on May 25th, 1977, To the release, which was the Hollywood release of Episode 9, you can see from the first Star Wars film to the last here was 2,220 weeks and 5 days, so right in the middle of the 2,221st week. And 2,221. That is the 404th and final verse of Revelation. Revelation 22.21. Also 22.21 is the 331st prime number as well. And you can see here that it started with episode 4 and ended with episode 9. So we look at the number 49. Uh, number 49 is 7 squared or 7 times 7. And that reminds us of the 7 by 7 square, magic square of the planet Venus. We're going to be looking at Venus here today as well. Uh, but the 49th prime is 227, kind of a special number, 227, the 49th prime. A lot of you may already know this trick, but 22 divided by 7 is 3.14, or pi, which represents a full circle or a full cycle. So the Star Wars films have come full circle, and it's also a revelation ritual with its reference to the last verse of Revelation uh, with the release dates of the first and last films here. Uh, I talk about Skull and Bones on my channel quite a bit, the 322. If we look at the number 9, uh, in regards to the 322 Skull and Bones number, if we take the number 313, add 9, that gets us to 322. 9 more gets us to 331. And 331 and 313 are permutations of the same numbers here. And what's also interesting here is that the missing permutation with these numbers is 133 and when we add that to the skull and bones number 322 that gets us to 455 a number I talk about quite a bit currently the Great Pyramid of Giza is 455 feet without its capstone A lot of these rituals like to include the uh, dimensions of the pyramid. Very important mathematical connections to a lot of these rituals with the Great Pyramids of Egypt or the Great, the Great Pyramid of Giza. Uh, I showed you guys this before, but the San Jacinto Monument uh, near Houston is the largest obelisk in the world at 567 feet. Uh, its nine-pointed star, I believe, represents the Baha'i Faith. And the Baha'i Faith believes it's the fulfillment of nine religions. And the Baha'i Faith itself is represented by the nine-pointed star.
San Jacinto Monument. I've showed you guys this before, but the San Jacinto Monument is if we draw a line here from Marker Vista Road, I've explained this before, but from Marker Vista Road to McCormick Place in Chicago. A lot of things connect to McCormick Place. But that's 811 nautical miles from the San Jacinto Monument to McCormick Place. And the McCormick Place symbol is has the star of the San Jacinto Monument in it. And I talk about Chicago quite a bit, and there's one more thing here I want to show with, uh, show you guys with Chicago that has to do with this number 2221, um, the fourth and fourth and final verse of Revelation, kind of a hidden thing here with some eclipses. Uh, if we look at a list here, these are the solar eclipses visible from the United States, and we look at Chicago. The last time there was a solar eclipse visible from Chicago was on May 10th, 1994. You can see here some interesting numbers here, but it was Cyril Cycle 128. We're going to look at this 5101994. You can see the date numerology was 128 as well. But we're going to go to 331 2020. You can see it's exactly 1351 weeks from the last visible solar eclipse to 331 2020. And how that relates to the 2221. 2221, the base 10, base 12 relationship. And the base 12. 2221 is 1351. Exactly 1351 weeks from the last visible solar eclipse in Chicago. And you can see here on this solar eclipse, they give this gamma number here as 4. 0 0.4077, but we look at that as a 477. That connects us back to our 24th star number. 477 minutes is 33.13% of a day. Really like getting these star numbers in a lot of these rituals, especially the 24th star number. Connects us back to Revelation 811. The Cormac Place is 811 nautical miles from San Jacinto Monument and nautical miles are the measurements of water, water measurements. Another nine here to look at, uh, the ninth president, William Harrison. He was the first president to die in office and he died on the 32nd day of his term and he happened to die exactly 777 months after the founding of the United States but another nine and we'll go more into this uh, later but I just want to show you the nine here he died on April 4th 4-4 the 32nd day in office so we're gonna look at the number nine in relation to time. Uh, all these times are in the 24 hour format. So we're going to look at nine minutes into the day uh, to the 331 here. So from nine minutes to the time of 331, it's three hours and 22 minutes. And if we look at 331 to the time that leaves nine minutes in the day, which is 2351, 
So from 331 to 2351, that's 20 hours and 20 minutes, a 2020. And if we take these two numbers itself, 331 plus 2020, sums to 2351. Uh, the number 911 plus 1440, because there are 1440 total minutes in the day. That also gets us to this 2351, the time 2351 that leaves nine minutes in the day. Remember 911. 911 is our golden verse of Revelation. Nine eleven is the 154th verse of Revelation, and it splits the 404 verses of Revelation into the closest approximation of the golden ratio, or phi. So that's why I call 911 the golden verse of Revelation. And we're going to be going into the year of the gold rat coming up here on January 25th. We're going to go from the year of the pig to the year of the rat, and it's the metal rat, and more specifically the gold rat. Okay, now we're going to take a look at this um, I Pet Goat video. And I'm going to leave you guys a link in the description for a video by Jeff Overholt. He did a great video. He does a lot of work with the I pet goat video, but the release of the I pet goat video, uh, something that he found here, um, the release of the I pet goat video to the Chinese New Year is 91 months and one day. A 911. So I'll leave a link for that. You guys can take a look at that video. Um, but we're going to take a look here at the I pet goat video uh, in relation to the Chinese New Year's and the Chinese Zodiac and also we're going to take a look at this background here uh, the star field that is uh, behind the video itself this is the background of the I pet goat video and you can see here in the middle uh, there's kind of a face in this kind of nebula here with the stars and right in the middle here, there are a group of bright stars here. And there are nine of these stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars here in this background. And what I want to do here is find where that the background of the video that this is overlaid onto where this shows up actually in iPet Goat. And I've showed you guys this in a video quite a while ago, but um, just started putting it together a while ago of how important this star field is that this iPet Goat uh, is overlaid onto. So here's the actual website with iPet Goat. And the star field that this video is overlaid onto. Uh, and if we look here, there's some 9 11 symbolism uh, right away in the beginning of the video with the cubes that fall down, the cubes or the blocks. There's 11 cubes here. Nine of the 11 cubes are colored or contain characters. So there's a 9 11 symbolism here. And two, of course, it's the second 9-11 we're looking for. Uh, the big one, the real 9-11 that this uh, iPet Goat is encoding. Also, uh, iPet Goat, the IPG uh, itself is an anagram of pig. So we take a look here right at the next scene. Uh, the puppeteer here, our reptilian puppeteer, has two rings on. Uh, it appears that one ring here it looks like kind of like a pig. 
and the other ring here which is a snake on a dollar sign. I'm going to take a look at that in relation to the Chinese zodiac, especially this snake here. I Pet Goat was released on 6-24-2012 and June 24th is the Freemasonic holiday called St. John's Day I believe. It's a Freemason holiday. But from 624 to 210, 2013, that was exactly 33 weeks. And the reason we're looking at 210, 2013, is that was the start date of the Chinese year of the snake, 210, 2013. So from the release, release of iPet Goat to the Chinese New Year, beginning of the year of the snake, was exactly 33 weeks. A very significant number to the occult, a lot of symbolism behind the 33. So we know they're definitely using this Chinese zodiac here with the coating of the iPet goat here. But what I want to do here, we're going to advance up here to the scene where we see the Starfield first appear actually in the video that's actually in the background here. And at precisely four minutes and four seconds into the video is where this star field shows up. And this is where our nine stars are visible here in the background. And this is our reference to Revelation. There are 404 total verses in Revelation and this appears at the 404 mark. Our interdimensional Jesus character here shows up. Okay, so let's look here. The background with the nine stars. Now this came out in 2012, so this was a this is going to be a ritual that was kind of a long time planning, a long time coming. But on March 17, 2016, the Hubble telescope identified nine monster stars. They were told that had a mass over 100 times the mass of our sun, and this was in the star cluster R136. An R136 is only a few light years across and is located in the Tarantula Nebula within the large Magellanic, Magellanic Cloud. With this R136, with these nine monster stars, is located in the Tarantula Nebula. So we're going to find that here. Spell that wrong. And the Tarantula Nebula is located in the constellation Dorado, which is a dolphin fish. It's kind of interesting that in the Chinese constellation um, labeling that this is a goldfish in the Chinese constellations or asterisms. Dorado is a goldfish, another gold reference. But this is the background here to the iPet goat where Jesus shows up at 404. So if we go back here and look at our date of our discovery of our nine monster stars, we're going to go from this date, 3-17-2016, to the last day of the year of the pig, which is 124 2020. You can see that's three years, 313 days, 
back to our 24th star number from Revelation 8.11. Thirty-three, thirteen, our twenty-fourth star number from Revelation eight, eleven. Now we're going to look at this date here, this release of the monster stars here, with the re with three thirty-one. 2020 you can see it's four years and 14 days and I've showed you guys that before but Venus the planet's average magnitude is 414 I've done many videos about the 414 but a very significant rep, um, uh, reference to the planet Venus with this 414 So from the discovery of the stars to 331, 2020 is four years, 14 days. Now we're going to go to the R136 Wikipedia page here. And we're going to look at the YouTube history, or excuse me, the Wikipedia history here when this... page was created and you can see it was created on September 1st 2006 so let's look at this date from the creation of the R136 and to 331 2020 from the creation of the R136 page it's 4960 days and 496 is the third perfect number. Remember we're talking about the Third World War. 496 is the third perfect number. A couple of other things with this release date of March 17th. Well let's go back here and look at this first. If we look at the uh, origination of this R136 page, you can see it was started with 577 bytes. And I've shown that number to you guys uh, many times before. But 811, the base 10, base 12 relationship uh, is this 577 here with 811. And the significant thing here is that Tarantula Nebula, if we look at the Jewish gematria of Tarantula Nebula, it actually sums to 811 as well. So they're definitely coding Revelation 811, the falling wormwood star with this Tarantula Nebula with I pet goat. And I showed you guys this before, but the apple that rolls over the C7 in iPet Goat, the C7 vertebrae, uh, which is the bridge between the neck and the head, that's called the vertebra prominens. It sums to 1377 in the Jewish cipher. Remember that all comes from the Ordinal Gematria value of Revelation 811, that's 1377. Well, one more thing here about this article with the nine stars. If we go to the bottom here, you can see it was last updated on August 6, 2017. So I want to look at that date in relation to 331. 
you can see here that August 6, 2017 is 968 days to 331, 2020. And if we go back to the events of 9-11-2001, it's also exactly 968 weeks to 300 to 331, 2020. So two 968s. Okay, guys, uh, let's start wrapping this up and putting it together. Um, if you look here at the iPet Goat video, exactly 404 is where we see our nine stars with our arrival of our interdimensional Jesus. So we're going to go to the release of iPet Goat, which was on 6 24 2012 and we're going to add 404 weeks for the 404 total verses in Revelation. That gets us to March 22nd, 2020. 322 Skull and Bones date. iPet Goat 2 was also released on YouTube on July 3rd, 2012. And iPet Goat is 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Let's take a look at that first. iPet Goat, 7 minutes, 27 seconds. We're going to add 1 minute, 33 seconds, which is the mirror of 331. And that gets us to exactly 9 minutes for our completion, for our 9. And our YouTube release of iPet Goat 7-3, 2012, add 404 weeks. That gets us to 331, 2020. So we have our iPet Goat with our R136 star cluster, which is located within the Tarantula Nebula. Here's some more spider and Year of the Pig symbolism here together uh, in the Simpsons movie. Uh, remember the spider pig appeared in the Simpsons movie. Remember they also dressed up the spider pig as Harry Potter. Remember I showed you guys that Potter Island Potter Island is at the entrance of Hudson Bay. There's a lot of stuff about Canada and Hudson Bay here. But this spider pig also showed up in the regular uh, TV series. And it happened to be episode 577. Remember our 811, our 577, base 10, base 12 relationship, episode 577, and that was released on October 11th, 2015. Oct is 8, so we have 811, and we have our 577, and this was our appearance of our spider pig on our regular uh, series of The Simpsons, and of course The Simpsons are known for their predictive programming and all their occult symbolism. Okay guys, um, that's all I have for you for now. Uh, there's a lot more spider symbolism to look at here with this tarantula nebula, but I'll just uh, wrap it up here. Um, okay guys, uh, thanks for watching.